I just finished doing some uh, time testing with the uh, Blade 350QX2 to see how long it takes to get GPS lock with the various uh, shielding techniques that uh, uh, are out there right now. Uh, there's definitely a problem with the GoPro uh, and the and the Blade uh, 350, no question. Uh, and I, what I did is, uh, the reason I'm telling you that is because I just finished proving it to myself. I'm using this uh, DX5E controller, which works really good. Uh, but the first thing I did was just set, set the unit out with no camera on it. It took 37 seconds to lock up to the GPS. Got a solid green light right away, 30, 35, 37 seconds. The next thing I did is I took my uh, GoPro uh, Hero 4 Silver, uh, which is um, which I just got for Christmas, and I, uh, I I've, I've done all this with the waterproof case on, and I built this little copper uh, box that a Blade gives you in the in in there package when you buy this there's a piece of foil in there that's uh, cut to where you can make a little box out of it so I made the box put the camera on the mount here and uh, it took uh, a minute and 10 seconds to get GPS lock better with this no question but in my mind there's still some interference. Um, the next thing I did was took the foil out, the copper foil out, and tried it with nothing. It would not lock up. I waited three minutes and gave up. So then, for the last test, I took some aluminum foil, regular aluminum foil, and I just wrapped it all up, except for right here. You can see there's going to be some leakage there. But I wrapped it all up, mounted it where I'd been mounting it on the, on the mount that they give you, and uh, it took 37 seconds to lock up. Exactly the same amount of time as with no camera on it at all. So, I'm convinced that the best solution so far is this. Wrap it up like an astronaut in aluminum foil. I'm not going to do it every time. It's too much of a pain in the ass. This, I'm not flying anymore with it. It works, but now that I know there is some leakage, I don't want to take a chance on losing this uh, pretty expensive little rig here. So the next thing I'm going to do, I believe, is to go ahead and, and do what I've, uh, a lot of people are doing is, is uh, putting tape on the inside of the unit and just kind of creating a, a floorboard uh, inside the bottom of it. It's kind of time consuming, but I'm going to try it and see how that works. Uh, one thing I've noticed on, on this unit here, the GPS is right here. Uh, so it's it's further away now. It used to be right here in this area from what I understand. Uh, it, they've moved it further away from the camera, which is good, but it still doesn't really help. Uh, it's not good enough because you cannot use this this quadcopter with without some sort of shielding. If you do, I suspect you're going to probably crash at some point or another. I couldn't even get this one to lock up. Maybe some of the GoPros are made uh, better than others. I don't know. But uh, this is what I found out. And I wanted to share it. Uh, once I get some tape inside, hopefully 
my goal is to get it down to where we can lock up with the camera on it in 37 seconds uh, because I sure don't plan on wrapping this thing in aluminum foil each time but surprisingly it works really well so that's all I wanted to show you we'll see how this uh, other method works and I'll get back to you goodbye